Hey everyone, Sean Pierce Johnson here back in my home studio for another look at using the Legacy Drive as a direct recording device for your home studio. Now, last time we looked at the built-in cab simulator output, but recently there's been a huge variety of speaker simulators, reactive loads, load boxes with speaker simulators, software impulse responses, mainly geared towards simulating the way a guitar speaker cabinet sounds, coupled with a guitar pedal, whether it be a solid state one or a tube one. And, well, we're going to take a look at using some form of digital speaker emulation with the Legacy Drive today. Now, I myself, I'm pretty old school, so I've not really invested too much money into impulse responses, but I do have a couple favorite tools that I like to use for direct recording if I need more than just the option of a built-in speaker simulator, and that is this. I have a free version of Avid's 11 software with came with my Pro Tools rig, and Waves GTR, which I like for both its amp simulation and its cab simulation, but today we're just going to look at the speaker simulation with the Legacy Drive doing all the tone shaping and giving us all the goods. Now, if I just bypass these speaker simulations entirely and I turn on the Legacy Drive, this is the sound that we have. <laughs> You, you probably recognize that. It's pretty raspy, it's pretty gnarly, and well, it's not exactly something that you would probably think of as a guitar. Um, well, that's because basically we're going out of the preamp without any sort of coloration or EQ or what we would kind of expect to hear a speaker to sound like. That's pretty raw coming out of the pedal. It's just guitar into the legacy drive and into the interface. Now, let's take a look at what adding just one speaker simulation can do to that otherwise raspy sound. I'm gonna go to the 11, and I'm going to use the 4x12 Classic 30, which uh, is very much a home territory for me. <laughs> Now if I take that back off, you don't want me to play any more than that with that turned off. I'm turning it back on. And I have a couple other options that I can go to on the 11. I have the green 4x12. So a very simple yet effective way of taking the Legacy Drive's core raw tone and making it a little bit more close to home. You know, it actually sounds like a guitar amp now. Now the cool thing with GTR is I also have the option to choose some speaker simulations for cabinet size and type. Uh, and I also have microphone modeling as well. So with this one, it's a 2x12 style cabinet with a closed back and with something that sounds kind of like a 57. <laughs> can kind of go to an extreme. Let's do something probably you would never think to do. Let's try running that sound through a model of a bass 8x10 cab. <laughs> So you 
can go standard, you can go to the opposite end of the spectrum and go extreme. You can change up just about anything you want. I do like the closed back 2x12 personally, and I do like the 57. It's just kind of a nice, you know, everybody has a 57 in their studio. Everybody's got a, cl mostly everybody has a closed back cab. That's the sound that I'm most used to. So I'm going to use that model for the rest of this. Now the beauty with using a digital speaker simulator is that from there, you kind of have the whole wide swath of the preamp to shape your sound. Now what I do with the preamp, the legacy drive preamp, when I use the digital speaker simulator is I do like to put the master all the way up. To me that gives the vibe of not only just the preamp pushing the speaker, but a little bit of that power amp vibe. You know, really getting that kind of push from the speaker. And we are going to use the volume to get a little bit of speaker push as well. So let's check out some clean tones. Now this is the settings that I have right now and I think they sound pretty darn good. I'm gonna try something else right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take the presence switch out so it gets just a little bit darker carve out some of the bass put a little mid-range keep it 12 o'clock add some more treble And then maybe to compensate, I'll just push up the volume just a little bit. And we have something that sounds pretty darn good. Now, going back over to the drive channel, now we have the ability to use the presence knob in a different way than we did with the cabinet voiced out. We can really hone in on shaping our high end. Now, for this particular sound, I wanna go for something kind of aggressive, uh, more in the higher gain territory. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the gain. I'm gonna go ahead and take out some of that mid-range. Put some bass back in there. And now that's got a sound that's fairly dark, so we're gonna need to add some of that articulation and aggression in there using the presence knob. Kicking on the gain switch gets us that super saturated lead sound. That really is one of the great parts of direct recording, especially when you marry the analog world with the digital world. You get the best of both of them to find a sound that is in your head to make music with. And that is what all this equipment is about. It is about getting the music that you hear in your head to your fingers and recorded so that it can be shared with the world. So that's a little bit of a taste of what you can do if you have some of the more fancier speaker simulators in your gear collection and at your disposal. I myself am still experimenting with the idea of fully going into the speaker simulator world, but for now, I'm very happy with this setup and I'm going to be using it a ton as I get ready to record some new music with my band. 
So if you want more information on the Legacy Drive and to get one for yourself, you can check out carbonaudio.com.